Well, good morning. Uh, Dr. Bob Flower with your uh, Thursday, uh, July 7th, uh, Master Pattern Report. <clears throat> A little late this week with the holidays and whatnot and, and the campaign. Um, all right, let's talk about uh, the stock market. Last week, uh, we had um, uh, a pretty close hit on the S&P and, and on silver, although we think that silver is, as we said then, and just in a trading zone. Um, ready to break out one way or another, and we think it will be on the downside for uh, a little bit here. Uh, the S&P uh, is uh, gathering some strength. Uh, again, as we indicated, we are now long the S&P um, with a hedge, uh, options hedge uh, on the short side, but uh, we think uh, going into early August, we're going to see some, uh, some climbing here. Uh, before it starts to um, tank. Um, next week, we have a couple of dates for next week. Uh, we have um, the 13th and the 14th next week with the uh, with the S&P look like uh, major days and uh, with silver also. 13th, um, um, maybe, a, maybe a significant move. And um, right now, the chances are that that's going to be on the downside, but I'll try and get back to you on that closer to, to Monday. Um, all right, let, let's talk about the economy. It stinks, and uh, it's it's getting worse. The uh, Everybody's saying, well, you know, companies are doing good and whatnot. We've been through this before. Uh, the um, uh, Wall Street is, is doing much better. Main Street is in big, big, big trouble, which eventually will lead to trouble um, on Wall Street. Uh, just remember that um, when everybody's a buyer, uh, when a time comes to sell, there are no sellers. Uh, I'm sorry, there are no buyers. And um, that means free fall, which is what we're going to experience before the end of this year, and certainly into, uh, into next year, these wild sp swings. Now, uh, let's talk about something that, we, uh, uh, that doesn't get too much attention, but I think that you're going to be seeing uh, coming up within the next uh, several years. And that is uh, these weather patterns. Uh, uh, science, uh, if you get into your Scientific America and whatnot, not, uh, not Geo, uh, are predicting some very uh, dire storms and solar flares and things of this sort coming up over the next 10 years which is going to generate some of the radical weather conditions that uh, we're seeing, for instance, in um, my uh, second home out there in Scottsdale and Phoenix. You saw that halab, uh, you know, 100 foot uh, dust, dust storm, 60 miles an hour, and nobody can breathe, cars can't run, and whatnot, and whatnot. Well, these things are going to have dramatic effects going forward. You can't, do, you can't experience things like that on an ongoing basis and not have dramatic economic results, okay? So uh, we have to, you have to be mindful of that, like for instance with um, uh, food prices. Uh, now, you, they don't plant, plant much in the desert, so who cares? But um, when it starts happening in, in the growth area, you know, upstate New York or Iowa or places like that, uh, you start to have some, some uh, serious uh, uh, price, uh, price concerns. And I think that that's going to be a, 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 also a major issue here. Now, uh, I'm not an advocate of one of these, uh, you know, 2012 and the, the big meteor is going to hit us and wipe us out. If it does, uh, <laughs> that's it. It's all over. But uh, no, I, I, I don't think you're going to see that. Um, I don't think you're going to see these radical uh, changes, earth changes that they, they talk about. Um, uh, I think we will see changes, um, and they will be earth changes, but... Um, I think they will be um, more dramatic than what we have experienced in the past. Let's 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 put it that way, and I think they will be of economic concern at some place along the line. So keep that in mind. Factor that in. Watch yourself uh, when it comes to the investments. You may want to check and see if there are any um, economic via viabilities by virtue of this. You know, um, farms or something like that. You know, truck farming or. Uh, things of that sort, or, or perhaps um, um, kibbutzes, you know, where, you know joint uh, joint uh, development of uh, food sources and whatnot. Things of that sort might be uh, might be a, a, a possibility for some uh, business ventures. 
Okay, uh, let's talk more about uh, the uh, national economics and, and its effect on us in our everyday lives. Um, the uh, big game going on now in Washington, as you know, between Democrats and Republicans, and uh, you may well be on the verge of seeing third-party development if this thing does not work out the way uh, people are looking for. Um, uh, they're really in a box here because uh, the only meaningful cuts are going to come in your s social services, and nobody wants that. Um, which brings me to another subject. Uh, let's leave us not forget uh, for all the disdain that we have for our elected officials. They reflect us. They reflect our thinking and our culture. So if you think that they're terrible, well, my friend, look in the mirror, uh, because that's where it's coming from. If you don't have concern for politics, and then all of a sudden you see what is happening to you because of politics, you're going to blame it on them. <laughs> Uh, that's like the former Catholic who, who, Catholic who quits the, the, the church, and then an hour before he figures that out, an hour before he dies, he's going to convert, he's going to repent, and he's going to be saved. Uh, it doesn't quite work like that. Um, you, you, you have to be involved. You have to be concerned. You have to have character. I can't tell you how much experience I, uh, I'm picking up by this campaign and meeting people who don't have five dollars in their pocket to, you know, on a daily basis, live hour to hour, never mind day to day. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, but and and at the same time, they're not really interested in finding a job. Um, I'm not going to say all of them, but but a lot of them. Um, and yet there are those uh, like like the, these two young men that uh, that I met recently who are traveling two and a half hours by train to come and work for just about minimum wage. I mean, you know, the, the, you talk about people being dedicated to um, to, to seeking help and, 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 and a job. I mean, that's, that, that's admirable. But my point is that the only thing that's going to pull us out of this is the uh, spirit of mankind. Uh, Innovation, intuition, you know, are all great things, and, and we need them, creativity. But we have to put them to work, and you can't blame the other guy for things that have... There's an old, um, there's an old Hindu saying that says that if you're over 21, you get everything that you deserve. And um, I'm, I'm a firm believer in that. Take responsibility for your own actions, for what's going on in your life. Uh, don't blame other people. You don't like what's going on. Get involved. Get involved. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a simple enough thing to do, and you can make a difference because what, the first thing that will happen is you'll come across other people who are of the same mind. And the more people that there are like that, of course, the better things get. Uh, we, we, you know, the American Revolution is one of the classic models uh, in, in human governance and human systems. Um, and it can't be denied. The success uh, that it's incurred over the years can't be denied. But don't forget, it, it, it came from a people's mind uh, mindset that that um, is not prevalent today. Uh, so, uh, in a word, you know, get out there, you know, get, get get involved and be heard, but also be seen. Don't just do what I say, do what I do. Um, that's what we need to, uh, to to pull us out of this and to pull each other out. So uh, now that the lecture is over, um, I, I wish you you know a good uh, a good week. We'll see you next week. We'll try and get you in as, as soon as possible uh, uh, because I think next week we're going to start seeing some different things happening. And um, we're going to talk more about this investment uh, process that uh, that we've been working on for several months here, okay? And we're going to talk about Obama and his retirement, his, his quitting. Remember we talked about that for a couple of years? There, there's something in that, and we're going to talk about it next week. Have a great week, everybody.